Hi, it's Chris Rose and Ted Dinsmore with SphereGen Technologies in New Haven, Connecticut. We're here to do a follow-up video on the HoloLens 2, which we've now had on hand here for quite a few weeks and been able to play with. The first thing you'll notice about H2 is when you pick it up, the ergonomics that have gone into the headset. Uh, the R&D has certainly uh, been focused on making it much more comfortable to wear, as they've noticed that people in developer, uh, developers and people in uh, enterprise type settings are wearing these for hours and hours on end. Ted, you can attest to that. Yeah, absolutely. With HoloLens 1, it was very front heavy. So after a while, it would just wear heavy on it. It matter what you use head strap or not. With HoloLens 2, uh, you actually have a very ergonomical and you can flip up the top too. So you can move the, um, the visor out of your way um, when you're actually doing tasks like in a manufacturing environment or in a programming environment where we're using it all, all the time. Another feature that they've added into the HoloLens 2 would be four additional microphones. So the initial HoloLens came with a single unit microphone. This one carries five total. Uh, much better reception in terms of audio when working in environments with ambient noise. One of the other things that we find is amazing is the difference between HoloLens 1 and HoloLens 2 on the hand tracking. Um, with HoloLens 1, we had basically a couple things. We could click, we could bloom, we could click and drag. Now with HoloLens 2, with all the features of full hand tracking, it's amazing what we can do with hand tracking on the new devices. And we're showing you an image here of how hand tracking works within the device with one of our applications called Diacom Director, which allows you to manipulate objects with both your hands and move them quite well within the application. Another great improvement with HoloLens 2 is the field of view. With the HoloLens 1 headset, the first version, the field of view was limited much like a postcard. With HoloLens 2, the user experiences are forgetting sometimes even that there's a screen with them. Uh, the peripheral vision is much more expanded, allowing a much more robust and detailed experience. Uh, and that lends itself to the spatial mapping features that have also been upgraded. So in HoloLens 1, we had the Kinect sensor as part of the HoloLens, which had some features on spatial mapping. It was really good. On HoloLens 2, we have a much expanded list of features and then capabilities with the newer Kinect sensor, uh, similar to the Azure Kinect depth sensor. So we have a lot more detail in the spatial mapping that we do. And the other point that on HoloLens 2 is the eye tracking, which is a really important point for us. In applications we use like Visor, where we do uh, holographic eye test, we use the eye tracking to see where the eye is going and also influence where the user is looking and the applications we're building. And you know, everybody that we've worked with, including our own employees and the people at the enterprises that we've partnered with to work with these headsets, has noticed the clarity of vision and uh, the just ergonomics of wearing these day in and day out is just so much more improved and that's been very well received so far. So those are a couple of the improvements that we've seen out of HoloLens 2, uh, and we still work with HoloLens 1 as well. If you have interest in exploring this type of technology or any of the custom software development we do for Mix Augmented Virtual Reality, contact us at info at spheregen.com. We'll happy to talk to you about ways we can implement custom software and out-of-the-box programs from Microsoft.